Okay, it looks like we can get started. So hi, I'm Jack Gaither. I'm part of the uh, HPC frontline staff here at TAC. Um, basically, if you've submitted a ticket in the past, uh, most likely one of us or I have answered it. Uh, so today I'm going to be going over how to submit and cancel a job using Slurm, uh, more specifically SBatch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen. That is not the screen I want to share. There we go. And for this call, I'm going to be referencing uh, three pages of documentation from our Frontera user guide. It's going to be uh, the snippets from each part, basically from the sample job scripts to running your job to canceling your job. We have it all typed out quite nicely. And for a lot of the situations that you may run into, we have all this information publicly available. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, basically take a look at a sample job script uh, that's super simple. It's just gonna list modules, print your directory and give the date. Um, basically show what that looks like when I submit it and then show what it looks like when I cancel it. So we can go look at the sample serial job script. Um, and it should look something like this, right? This uh, isn't always going to be there. This is part of these, uh, you know, it being a sample, but you're normally always going to have this uh, bin bash at the top. Um, and then you're going to have your S batch commands that will give you, you know, the name of your job, the uh, output files, uh, it, what queue you're going to run into or run your job in, and then uh, the number of nodes and the number of MPI tasks. Uh, this won't matter necessarily because we're running serially, but if you were going to run an MPI job, that would matter uh, greatly. And then uh, the runtime. So one thing that I would like to say for runtime is that when you submit uh, an SBatch job, you cannot increase your runtime once you have submitted. So please, if you think your job might run for an extra hour, add that extra hour to your time. Um, we also have mailing options, right? So when your job begins and when your job ends, uh, we can send you an email notification to the email that you would like. Um, and that's, that's basically the set of the normal SBatch commands that we use uh, any other commands can be found uh, under the running jobs link. There's the whole list of the common SBatch options. So what I'm going to do to run this job is I'm just going to simply say SBatch serial because all of our information for the job is already contained within that file. Then what I can do is check my status in the queue, the Slurm queue, right? And we can see that the job is now pending because uh, you know, the required nodes that we're trying to get are either um, in use, down, what, what have you. Um, you can see that I went into the small partition. This is because I'm only grabbing one node. Um, so if we go back, I think I just got the email that it completed. So you can see that the job in, indeed did complete. So we have a CG right there, which is for completing. Um, because the job is super short, I, uh, you won't really get a chance to see uh, R right here as the state, uh, which means running, right? So for like a long running job, you'd be able to check the queue um, and see that it is running. And then if we want to see how that job finished, we can see the most recent output file is right here, right? So we can take a look at the output from our job, right? So we basically did a print working directory and got the date. So everything looks good. Looks like the job fully completed. Um, and that's, that's you know kind of the normal process of how we go about submitting jobs here at TAC. Um, canceling jobs is a very simple process. Um, so to cancel a job, right, logically, you have to have one in the queue. So I'm going to launch one right now, right? Now we can see that it's pending. And then what you can do to cancel a job is cancel the job with the job ID, right? And then now 
the job has been canceled, we can go back into the queue and see that there is no job. So that's uh, kind of you know the the short and sweet of submitting and canceling jobs here at Tech. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it.